Hello neighbors, it's Brad here at eTrailer, and today we're taking a look at the Sumo Spring Front Custom Helper Springs for Front Coiled Suspension. Now this is going to be available for a bunch of different vehicles, whether it be a truck, SUV, or van like we have here today. Now you're going to want to make sure to use our fit guide on eTrailer.com to make sure that you're getting the proper helper springs for your vehicle. Now the way that these work is actually creating a nice little uh, progressive cushion barrier for those coils. So instead of the spring just compressing down, it gives it a little bit more of a fight, but it's also nice and soft. That way it's still giving you compression, so it's not gonna be a harsh ride. In fact, it should settle it out quite a bit. And if your front is loaded down, this is a great way to kind of bump that back up to get it riding level. And it's just gonna make driving a lot more comfortable, and a little bit more sure-footed. Some typical applications would be a minivan that is loaded down with the family and maybe some accessories on the roof or in the back, whatever it may be. If it's fully loaded, your suspension's having to work a little bit harder. And the great part about this is, is it pops in place, there's no maintenance required, and it's gonna keep up with the heat, any oil or chemicals that you might find on the road, it's not gonna break down. So once it's in place, you're gonna get that added comfortable, comfortable driving, whether you're loaded or not. Now it's not gonna bump up your weight capacity per se, so you're not gonna be able to hold more on your vehicle, but what it's gonna do is actually give your suspension the most bang for buck to fight against that load. So it's really gonna let it work a little bit easier as it kind of supports it. So that's a great way to enhance your suspension without having to completely change your suspension. Now, obviously we have a minivan here today, but they're all gonna install about the same. And this is really gonna be great for guys that have those front hitches with snow plows or just any front storage of the vehicle with weight up front, even heavy brush guards can really weigh down the front and just take away a nice smooth driving experience. And it's gonna be kind of a rougher ride just having that weight already compressing it. So this just takes that uh, constant pressure on those springs and just kind of makes it a little bit more supple and it can handle that weight quite a bit better. Now we're out on our test course and this is gonna give us a good baseline of how it is stock. And that way you can really see the difference once they're actually installed. As a lot of suspension components are, you really uh, can't tell a quantifiable difference as far as measuring it, but it really comes down to the way that it feels. So I'm gonna kinda get my first impressions here and we'll see how it improves. So we're gonna start by hitting some bumps here, kinda simulate some rough road or just kind of uneven surfaces back and forth here, kind of get the suspension to work. And then we're gonna come up to a slalom. So we're gonna actually see that suspension as we go side to side um, and some of the sway that's involved with that. And that's kind of where these can come into play is it's not necessarily gonna reduce the sway a ton, but it's gonna give those springs a chance to kind of fight back without just compressing down. And having that little bit of dampening there should make it a lot more responsive, especially when the van is loaded up, it's gonna make a world of difference. With our helper springs installed, we're gonna go back on that same test course and kind of run it through the same test just to see the difference. So hitting the bumps first. Immediately I can tell already that the suspension just seems a little bit heavier duty in a good way. It's just handling it um, kind of a little bit more graceful. Uh, it doesn't feel like the shock is really gonna huge workout. It's, it feels tougher um, absolutely out the gate. I'm not loaded up right now, so it's really not gonna really shine until you have it loaded up, but immediately even without weight, it's already made a big difference. So even in the slalom here, back and forth, um, that's making this minivan feel a lot sportier. Uh, so I'm pretty impressed for a really quick install. This is a great way to get a lot better handling and just overall better suspension feel and be able to support heavier loads on your vehicle. Now this is what it's gonna look like before you install it. And you can see it's got a slit here and these grooves look almost identical, but we actually have one that's deeper. So the deeper one is gonna sit on the bottom of the spring and you're gonna want this on the top. Now, the installation is gonna be about the same for pretty much every vehicle. We're doing it on this van here, but uh, really you're just gonna to want to jack up the front suspension, and that way that suspension hangs down. So make sure you have your emergency brake on. You might wanna chalk your rear wheels, and then also jack it up from here and put a jack stand under there just to be safe. But once that tire stops dropping, you know that you've fully extended that spring out. It's gonna make it a lot easier to get this in. 
you'll see a lot of dust on these, which is kind of normal for a car that's driven quite often. So what I'm gonna do is just with a soapy water solution, just spray all of this down. And that's twofold, not only to make sure that it's a nice clean surface we're putting it on, but it's also gonna help kind of lubricate it to get it placed on for its installation. So once you spray that down, just go through, wipe down those coils, and try to give it the best smooth surface to actually hop onto it. Now once you have that surface clean, again, take that deeper groove, and that's gonna go on the bottom here, and we're looking to get it in the second or third uh, kind of gap in between the coils, but really for first initial, whatever kind of works best. So the fact that this is kind of open, that's gonna work well. We can always move this up. So what I will do actually is start with one edge, kind of wrap it around here, and we'll put our groove in. Now at this point, it's gonna be kind of tight here, but I'm just gonna kind of really press this in to get that leading edge in. So once that's in, what you can do is actually rotate this a little bit and then just kind of work your way. And you can see that soap water really helping to be able to move this. And now that I have it in place, I'm just gonna make sure that I have it set up exactly where I want it on the spring. So I'm gonna rotate it right about here. Some of the kits actually come with zip ties and you can see there's a hole here and you would just simply run that zip tie through and then kind of zip it around the coil. And I guess the thought process would be to keep it to where it's not gonna move. But honestly, once this spring is compressed, it's gonna have enough pressure and seeing how much, how much pressure it took to get in there, I don't think they're really necessary. Um, but if your kit comes with them, you might wanna run those through and that way you have a little bit more uh, peace of mind knowing that they're not gonna rotate down. And that was a look at the Sumo Springs Helper Springs for front coiled suspension.